Hey, what is going on? I'm LaPrentice and I help health conscious consumers get rid of toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In today's video, we're trying to figure out, is Arrowhead water good for you? Okay, so I got mm, about four or five points I wanna bring up that will help you determine if Arrowhead water is actually good for you to drink. First one that we're gonna jump into is oxidizing, right? It is oxidizing water, okay? So let me go ahead and pour some into this cup real quick so I can show you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use an ORP meter, okay? ORP stands for oxidative reduction potential. Now, the higher the number is, the more oxidative it is, meaning that's creating more oxidation and inflammation in our body, which is ultimately gonna to lead to more sickness, okay? In fact, every health disease is linked to both oxidation and inflammation and creates this vicious cycle in our cells, all right? So, as you see, I'm gonna go ahead and stir it in here and take a look at that number. Yep, it is showing a 245, which means it is oxidizing. It is a positive number, which means it is creating that aging and rust in the body. Like these bananas here, you wanna stay looking green or at least yellow as much as possible. And you don't want to become brown just from sitting out from all the oxidation, right? So that is the first one is that this water is actually oxidizing. All right, so the next thing I wanna bring out when it comes to determining is Arrowhead water good to drink is the fact of its alkalinity, okay? Now it is slightly alkaline and that is great for the body, okay? So there's nothing wrong in that department. However, Arrowhead water has a tough time hydrating us, okay? And so a great example of that that I'm gonna use is this tea bag, all right? Now you're thinking, okay, is he gonna try to make tea? You're right, I am gonna try to make tea. And this is to prove my point. The cellular structure of the water is too big. And so it can't even pass through the tea bag, barely. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that right now. And eh, I got a little bit more, All right? So as you can see, I'm not able to make tea. And you're probably thinking, LaPrentice, well, that's because you didn't boil the water, right? And that's my point exactly, is I have to boil this water to, wait, to make the water molecules small enough to actually be able to pass through the tea bag and make tea. So I am actually starting to get a little bit here, but that is only after bouncing the tea bag, right? <laughs> so your cell walls, your cells are all linked the same, actually tighter than the tea bag there. So you want your water to actually be able to start hydrating you immediately. As you're drinking your water, it should go down and immediately start hydrating you, not just jumping straight to your stomach and sitting there, okay? So, Probably think I'm crazy, but there is water out there that does hydrate that is not required to be boiled to make. And this is a prime example right here. Your water should be small enough, the surface tension should be small enough to where it's actually able to pass through your cell walls and begin hydrating you, pushing out toxins, and giving you the nutrients that you need immediately. Once again, your Arrowhead water does not do that for you. All right, the next point I wanna bring up when it comes to knowing if Arrowhead water is good to drink is the fact that it comes in this bottle. This bottle that's made of plastic, okay? Now, unless you're getting it straight from the factory, pretty sure you have an extra ingredient in here that you probably aren't aware of. That extra ingredient is xenoestrogen. Okay, so as the water gets added to the bottle and it sits there, the water is a scavenger. So it starts eating at the plastic, all right? And so if you've ever had your bottled water, in the sun and it tastes a little bit like plastic, that's kind of what's happening in real time, right? So 75% of men and women who have breast cancer have too much xenoestrogen in their body. And the plastic mixing with the water as it goes from the factory through the truck, goes to a warehouse, sits there until it's time to be put on the shelf for you to drink, is just slowly building up more and more of that xenoestrogen which is a carcinogen that leads to the breast cancer that we were talking about before. So, it's another reason why it's not, probably not the best thing to be drinking this Arrowhead water. All right, the last point I wanna bring up when it comes to Arrowhead water is not only is it oxidizing, creating rust 
and inflammation and sickness in the body, not only is it inability to hydrate requiring you to buy more of it, not only is the xenoestrogen that's linked to cancer being consumed when you take in this water, you're paying for it. Like you're paying to make yourself sicker. That is the main, that's probably one of the biggest things that um, shocks me is that people are paying money, paying money to get sicker. Like I understand if you went to the source and you were getting it from there and you wouldn't, weren't spending the money, that'd be great, right? But we're paying for bottled water that is cancer causing, oxidizing, creating the inflammation and the diseases that we are starting to experience. And not only are we paying for it on a health level, but we're paying for it out of our pockets. So is Arrowhead water good to drink? I don't think so. Not for long periods of time. If it's an emergency, absolutely. But if you truly care about your health and you want something better, I highly recommend first subscribing to my channel so you get more tips on how to boost your wellness. Secondly, is I recommend checking out LaPrentisSampson.com. That's my website where I have more tips, tricks, and tactics to improve your wellness. Last but not least, you want to follow me on Facebook. My link is in the description below. Like my page, follow it, make sure you see first because I post regularly there, live, and stuff that is too hot for YouTube. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you open your eyes to some things and you get rid of this water. All right. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.